Hello and welcome to Glasgow Rangers Nation with me, your host, Owen, the channel that brings you your team every single day, guys. Uh, official news has just come from Rangers Football Club that we have sacked Michael Beale as manager. It appears that yesterday was the last straw. It was the straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak. Um, news has now emerged that the board have finally taken action they have finally shown the backbone required and pulled the trigger um, not only have they sacked Michael Beale but they have also sacked his entire coaching staff as well uh, Neil Banfield Damian Matthew Harry Watling and Jack Aidy are all out as well uh, quite clearly the board are unhappy with the whole coaching staff the whole approach taken by this coaching staff in terms of leading this team forward uh, it's been an utter disaster um this season three defeats already in seven premiership games performances that have shown no style no identity no tactics just absolutely nothing a recruitment a recruitment uh that has been far below the acceptable standards with only jack butland being a good signing uh, you know rangers currently are sitting in third place in the spfl uh three points behind st mirren and seven points already behind celtic there was a huge target of getting to the Champions League. Beals couldn't deliver that. Um, he's put us in a situation where he has lost to Celtic yet again. He has never beaten Celtic when it matters. This is a decision that the board have taken, and it is the correct decision the board have taken. Thank goodness he is now finally gone. Uh, in terms of his short-term replacement, the board have announced that uh, Stephen Davis um, will lead the interim management team. Um, the interim management team will also consist of hugely experienced coach and former Rangers player Alex Ray, uh, former Rangers player and current coach Stephen Smith, coach Brian Gilmore and goalkeeping coach Colin Stewart. Uh, the search for a new manager is, however, underway. This is a short term interim appointment uh, whilst the board seek to find their own man. Chairman John Bennett stated that I'd like to thank Michael for his dedicated work since he rejoined the club as manager last November. It is clear that results have fallen well short of the board's and Michael's and our supporters' expectations. The search process for the new manager is already underway. I wish Stephen Davis and the interim management team every success. They will remain in charge for as long as it takes to make the right appointment. And that is the key statement there. This is, um, you know, this is the key point here, the right appointment. This is an absolutely um, critical appointment for Rangers. They have to get this right. If they don't get this right, again, it's going to set us back even further. Um, it's an appointment they've got to get right. I would strongly suggest that director of football is a job they also need to appoint very, very quickly. Quite clearly, placing all the all the uh, faith in Michael Beale in terms of recruitment, spending money, salaries, contracts has clearly backfired as a lot of these players who are currently misfiring are on long-term deals, no doubt negotiated through Michael Beal as well. Um, quite clearly, this is the right decision Rangers have made. It's a decision that will take the club forward. Um, it's a decision that will make, hopefully, improve the form this season and put us back in a situation where we can compete with that lot from across the city. Guys, we'll be back, obviously, with more news in the morning, a bit more detailed look at this, but I want to just get that news out to you. Michael Beal is gone. Uh, Stephen Davis takes over in the interim. As always, guys, two things I need you to do for me. Number one, smash the like. And number two, as always, remember, we are the people.